Does that always mean they're vertical? Christy McElhoney's sophomore geometry students at Monte Vista High School are sitting at small groups of desks turned in to face each other. They won't be listening to a lecture today. So your job in your team right now is to have a discussion on the front of this on the front of this page. Discussing what they're learning with classmates is one thing students in the Grossmont Union High School District and across California will be doing a lot more. Explaining conclusions and reasoning their way to answers are just a couple of the skills at the heart of new state standards called the Common Core. McElhoney says it won't be enough to memorize and repeat facts. You not only have content standards, but you have mathematical practices. So you have to teach students how to reason, critique the thinking of others. They have to problem solve and uh, persevere through difficult tasks that they aren't used to doing. McElhoney is part of the district's team of teachers designing new lessons that meet the Common Core's requirements. But she and Monte Vista principal Randy Montesanto agree the switch is going to be a challenge for students and teachers. They've got to do the work to figure it out to a certain extent. And teachers want to give kids answers when they struggle because they want to have the kids learn. Well, if the kid's struggling, and it's taken them a while to get to the answer. That's where that collaboration comes in, with the kids having those you know, valuable conversations. Angle five and four would be complimentary, wouldn't they? Back in McElhoney's classroom, those conversations are about different kinds of angles. She isn't telling students which questions they've answered correctly or incorrectly, but she is redirecting those conversations. Is that the only thing they had to do? Angel Marin says talking things out is making his second attempt at geometry better. It was more independent. This is a, a little better, honestly. It just helps you understand, like, knowing, like, seeing everything from other people's point of view and just, it, I just think it helps, really. Talking with classmates leads right into another big focus of the new standards, writing. Look at your writing question, number seven. Did you write a sentence? Students will have to write not only in English courses, but in math, science, and other classes to explain what they understand and how they arrived at their answers. How much it was, like, degree-wise, yeah. Jenna Kurtzman says she's never been a big fan of math. She's struggled to do well in previous classes, but the writing is helping. It's something I haven't had to do before, but it's cool. It, like, helps me understand it. McElhoney's students weren't immediately enthusiastic about giving up the old approach of listening to lectures and completing worksheets silently on their own. In the beginning, they were very reluctant. They would just sit there and um, say, I can't do this. And now, when I give them a task, they start on it, and they try, and they, they have discussions, and they work together. They know I'm not going to give them the answer, so they have to talk to each other. Being comfortable with tackling problems they don't totally understand at first glance will translate into more real-world preparedness if the Common Core lives up to its promises, says Principal Randy Montesanto. We need to get our kids to a point that these kids are ready to, to create new, innovative um, programs, ideas, thoughts, whatever it might be. And I think f to keep our country competitive from a global perspective, we need to be the innovative country. Well, it's tough to do that when your kids aren't thinking creatively. Montesanto says it would be overly optimistic to expect high school grads to have radically different skills three or four years from now. He says students who are just starting school could be a better gauge because the only kind of education they'll know will focus on thinking creatively, making predictions based on evidence, and collaborating with their classmates. Students are just getting their first taste of Common Core in the classroom, and they can count on more changes to come. Kyla Calvert, KPBS News.